Russ, backhands left side, tacker shot, scores! It might have been tipped on by Sam Hare! Notre Dame, a power play goal with 6.26 to go in the first, one nothing Notre Dame. John's over the line, left side, he holds, he shoots, pad save, rebound, scores! Steven Johns taps home his own shot. A short-handed goal for a second straight night for the Fighting Irish, and Notre Dame leads two to nothing with 10:58 to go in the second. You know, obviously, anytime I can help out in the offensive aspect of game of the game, um, you know, it's a huge benefit for me and for my team, and try to give my team any kind of boost, whether it's a goal or a hit or you know, a nice pass or anything. So yeah, it's uh, you know, it's been nice, but obviously, I need to do a little bit more of that to uh, to get some wins here. We were playing pretty well. I mean, in the second period, we were all over them. And, uh, and that changed with penalties. Uh, you know, it just changed, changed the momentum of the game. And then, uh, you know, we, we got, just like last night, I thought we got comfortable after a 3 nothing lead. I thought we got comfortable after a 2 nothing lead. Taken by Reed, and he's got a breakaway opportunity. He sends it in front. Snyderman, who risks it past Summer Hayes. Takes his time, lost the puck, look out, wall into the slot, he holds, he shoots, he sends it in front, and Pim scores! Notre Dame turns it over at their own goal line, and the phantom penalty call hurts the Irish, and Northeastern finally cashes in on the power play. Here come the Huskies. Behind the right goal line of the Irish, Pim centers, they score! Cutting in, hedges, and the Huskies lead 3-2. I can't remember the, the last time we gave up a lead in the third and lost in regulation, which is unacceptable, um, especially in a championship uh, environment. Um, so yeah, that one, uh, that one stings. Johns, Lucia's got it over the line, left side. He's got Johns in the right circle. Puck off his skate, and that'll do it. And Northeastern wins the Shillelagh tournament by a final score of three to two over the Fighting Irish.